Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Uh, part 3, finally, of the dual axis exoslide conversion of an Ender 5. <clears throat> so anyway, I've got it working now. It took a lot of uh, tinkering, you might say. I had to make new X and Y stops and then get the bed leveled and all kinds of things. But uh, So I've got it working. It's going to start up here in a second. But the X and Y stops were a little bit crazy. And I had to design a couple things uh, to make the exoslide work on an Ender 5. It's designed for X, uh, Ender 5 Plus. But um, I re about the only thing I really had to do that was a little tricky was replace the 2020 uh, top uh, bar that came with it with a shorter one. Um, so it's running. Now what I'm going to do is just get all the wiring in place. And the last thing I need to do is make a new display. Uh, mount uh, for the LCD. So I'm working on that. I've got one printing on uh, one of the other printers. So it's going to be a lot easier to convert Chris since it's already got the dual axis. So now all i got to do is get the exoslide installed on it. And uh, that shouldn't be too tough. I've got most of the parts printed uh, for that conversion. So hopefully I'll have that done in a day or two. But um, it's trying. It's printing a, a display box. So I'm going to try and see if that one will work. I've looked at a lot of different things on Thingiverse, and just not exactly what I'm looking for. So we'll see how it works. But um, this it took a while <clears throat> to get everything centered. That's where I had to redesign the X and Y uh, end stops. I just didn't have enough range, so I had to keep uh, tinkering with those. I'm pretty happy now with the way it, uh, it's printing a 200 by 200 test grid from TH3D. And it's coming out pretty well right in the center. Um, equally distant from front to back and side to side. I also replaced the bed springs with uh, the solid mounts from TH3D. I had those and um, the problem with Ender 5 is you just can't get the droop out of the front, uh, even with the support bars that people have designed for it. So with the dual Z axis, I can get the bed pretty doggone level now. So you'll be able to see, um, I'm pretty happy with the way it's centering right now. I'd be curious if anybody's interested in any of the details on this. I can uh, make a Thingiverse uh, entry. But, you know, unless somebody wants it, I'm not sure how quickly I'll do that. So, uh, please leave me questions or comments. I do appreciate reading them and hearing from everybody. Thank you for watching.